Hey guys, so today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, I'm coming to the point where I feel like gear is really starting to limit me. Um, because there's different models I'm wanting to do. And for instance, today I'm going to print out uh, the Harry Troll. Now the thing about the Harry Troll is, if I let Kira create the, the support material, it's wanting to put supports under everything, including where the hair is going to bridge across to the, to the sacrificial cone. Now, I can't have it do that because we need it to bridge so I can, you know, use a hair dryer or heat gun or whatever to, to style the hair. So what I did is I took the model into Tinkercad and I tried to create some supports in Tinkercad. And I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. I'm going to give it a shot and try it. If it does, great. If it doesn't, then I've got another trick I might try. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Bob, he's been a... One of my very first subscribers, he's been, uh, you know, watching the channel for ever since it started. And uh, he made an offer where he uh, said that he has uh, simplified 3D and he'd be more than happy to slice the model for me. So I'm going to try doing it with the Kira first. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to see if I can get hold of him and see if he'll uh, slice that for me in uh, simplified 3D. Anyway, I will give it a shot. I will see you at the time lapse. Okay, so now that we know that Cura didn't work out so good with the, the supports I tried to make in Tinkercad, I did get hold of Bob, and he was more than happy to help me out with it, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Bob. I owe you a big one on this one. I appreciate it. I have it on the SD card, the, the G-code, so I'm going to give that a shot and see if it works out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over the filament back over to the pink because I've finished up with the blue when I'm doing the hair. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get back over here in time to change it back over to the blue for the blue hair. It may just end up a, a pink troll all the way through, including the hair. So we'll see what, what happens with that. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll set up real quick, and I'll see you in the time lapse. Okay guys, so this once again is the troll that was printed using Simplify 3D. Um, it did have some lifting issues with the at the base. It started kind of lifting at the back corner. So that's why I had just taped it down to be on the safe side. It does look like it printed, oh wow, pop piece just like the other one did. <laughs> My build tech's not holding on like it like it once did. I've been uh, rubbing it down with rubbing alcohol before each print, and it's been doing all right. But with these very thin walls, it just doesn't hold up so hot. Get a little bit deeper here. I think that's it. I broke off a few hairs, but that's all right. 
I gotta say, it looks better. It looks a lot better, actually. <laughs> I just don't know about the support material. Oh, wow. The rumors are true. Rumors are 100% true. Support material comes off like a dream on Simplify. I'll just do a little, few little spots there that didn't do so hot, but those are easily cleaned up. The chin looks really good. The hands came out right. Wow. Okay. I'm sold. <laughs> It's just a matter of being able to afford it. <laughs> well, I might as well go ahead and do the hair on this real quick. Well, guys, I know what I got to do now. I got to save up and get Simplify 3D. It's just, it's come to that point. So I'll start saving my pennies. This is probably going to be a while before I can afford 150 bucks, but <laughs> I think it's going to definitely be worth it. And that's, you know, I've always wondered if it was, I've always been the hesitant about getting software that costs money because it's, there's Cura, there's Repetier, there's uh, Craftware. Which I did try to, to download Craftware, but with it, you have to plug it into the printer. Uh, at least to set it up, and I don't have a computer out here, so I'd, it just turned me off on that. But uh, I do have to say Simplify, though, that's that seems to be the way to go. Um, so I'm, I want to thank uh, Bob. Thank you so much for slicing that model for me. You've got me sold for sure now. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, that's going to do it. Have a good one. Hey, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell, too. That way you'll get notified when the video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.